Senior circuit, but uh, it'll be uh, it'll be an excellent conversation. All right, somebody get Bruce Mitchell some oxygen, and uh, we are live here at the Concord Motor Speedway. The bell is rung, and Chris, finally, it's Superfly Jimmy Stoka against the Iron Sheik. Oh, no one uh, accepted the Iron Sheik challenge, but we did have people accept that no one beat the Iron Sheik, and I think he's still undefeated with the Iranian Persian Club challenge. And now Jimmy Stoka has the monumental task of taking on the former. WWF World Champion, who back in 1984 beat Bob Backlund after a five-year reign in Madison Square Garden, lost the title one month later to... Well, the Sheik is... The Iron Sheik needs complete silence in this matchup, but please do not chant USA, USA, as he's taking on Jimmy the Superfly Snooker. Well, I think that's going to obviously get exactly the opposite reaction. Snooker looks great. Yeah, oh, Snooker in great condition. Of course, had had great wars in the wrestling world with Roddy Roddy Piper, Cowboy Bob Orton, and in many, many others in, in the 80s and early 90s. The Iron Sheik, his fame for beating Bob Backlund in Madison Square Garden, and then one month later losing it to Hulk Hogan and the big rock and wrestling connection in the Madison Square Garden. That's what really elevated professional wrestling, Chris, as you know, in 1985. That's a very good point. I was with the World Wrestling Federation briefly in 85, and it was an extraordinary time. And 
John, I know that you uh, were in the old NWA territory, and certainly you must have been saying, what has McMahon got up his sleeve? Well, I'll tell you one thing about Jimmy, uh, Jimmy Snooker, besides being the WWF Hall of Fame, he also was uh, national tag team champions with Terry Gordy in Georgia. He also was probably the most, had one of his famous moves in the 80s when he dove off the cage on Bob Backlund in Madison Square Garden, which basically changed the whole career and life of uh, Cactus Jack. He also had a, a good tag team in the Mid-Atlantic area with a... a, 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 a what? Yeah, Paul Orndorff, I'm sorry. I know, I don't have anything to say, I'm sorry. Uh, you're, you're sorry, all right. The new referee is Dave Ruth, and Dave Ruth uh, taking over for, for the senior official here in New Dimension Wrestling, good point, is taking over for the injured Tony Hunter, and the Iron Sheik against Superfly Jimmy Snuka, two of the biggest names of professional wrestling in the 1980s, still wrestling in the late 1990s, and the Sheik a massive man and a superfly Jimmy Snuka is a man who obviously we all remember from the 80s uh, in the World Wrestling Federation. We're looking at the Beastmaster Rick Link against Abdullah the Butcher, and we're going to have our running sh uh, running shorts, uh, running shorts and running shoes on. And then after an eight-year absence, it's Tully Blanchard against the Nature Boy Buddy Landell. And Chris, a real cool for you to get uh, Tully Blanchard here in uh, New Dimension Wrestling. Chris, Chris, Tully Blanchard, a very important part of New Dimension Wrestling. Uh, we are excited to have him, one of the original members of the Four Horse, and right in his backyard. But uh, Tully Blanchard doesn't come out of retirement to work for any one wrestling organization. He works for New Dimension. Wrestling. Well, once again, the Sheik is asking. Well, he's not going to get complete silence. I'm not sure if he's going to get chance of USA, USA. The crowd can't seem to get it together. John, where are Hacksaw Jim Duggan and Sergeant Slaughter when you need them? I don't know, but it really is interesting to see up close Jimmy Snuka, who is truly the O.J. Simpson of wrestling. What do you mean by that? Um, he, he drank a lot of orange juice in his day. That's why you see the incredible physique on the uh, on Jimmy Snuka. Oh, the chops that we've come to expect from the Superfly. He chopped him again. He picks up the iron cheek and dumps him, and what a load that is. And now look out. You know, I think one thing that's very deceptive about the Iron Sheik is, you know, he was in the uh, 68 Olympics, the 72 Munich Olympics. He was a Greco-Roman uh, competitor. He's well-schooled. And a lot of people mention that he doesn't look like he's quite in shape, but trust me, we've had run-ins with him, Chris. We've both managed him at one time. And it's amazing the condition of this man and the strength of this man. He is strong. He's, he's very deceptive in his strength. All right, we're here at the Concord Motor Speedway just north of, of uh, Charlotte, North Carolina. There's a huge mystery developing. The question is, who is in the limo? Is it yet another member of the Four Horsemen? Of course, Charlotte, well known as the hometown of the Nature Boy Ric Flair. Of course, well known as the hometown of Arn Anderson. And Chris, any uh, uh, Ricky Steamboat? Uh, thank you, but I was talking about the Four Horsemen. If you can follow along with me, John, I don't think Ricky Steamboat was ever a member of the Four Horsemen. Now, if you have any information that's different than mine, please enlighten me. But if you don't, please just follow along. You know, I think Lee Marshall was right when he said it was time for you to take a hike. Lee who? And another shot there from the Superfly Jimmy Snooker. Oh! Two more big matches here at the Concord Motor Speedway, and the sweat is flying. I'm telling you, just sitting here, you're sweating. It's a hot, steamy, beautiful, but muggy North Carolina night in July 1998. It looks like the Superfly Jimmy Snooker is working over the shoulders of the Iron Sheik. They're in the turnbuckle. Dave Ruth has had a lot of latitude in this match, and he pulls Jimmy Snooker back. Uh-oh, the Iron Sheik. It looks like he's gone for an international object. Right to the head. Dave, the referee is not, doesn't seem to have uh, noticed this. Wait a minute, he did, he did. He's calling for the bell, he's calling for the bell. It's totally, a, he's calling the match. The match or disqualification goes to Superfly Jimmy Snooker. Dave Ruth, the referee, is calling for the bell and it's a, it looks like there's some bad blood between these two men. There may be some blood period. Jimmy Snooker's wrestled the uh, object away. 
I can't believe this match has already ended. It looks like it was just getting started, and suddenly the Iron Sheik uh, was disqualified for using the foreign object, and he doesn't seem a lip happy at all. Uh, on the, in his car. Hollywood East Limos.